Schrodinger's famous thought experiment has come to be known as Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger's cat is kind of a parable about the idea of quantum superposition. Schrodinger was disturbed by the implications of quantum theory. Apparent paradoxes in quantum mechanics. He wanted to show how absurd quantum mechanics is. He came up with Gedanken experiment. The thought experiment. This was the idea. You take a cat. A cat? A cat. An unfortunate cat. And you put it in a box. Completely isolated from everything on the outside. In this box as well is a hammer and a beaker. Filled with cyanide. Cyanide. And there's also a control mechanism in the box, which is controlled by a single atom, which can radioactively decay. Now, when the atom decays, the detector uh, activates the hammer. The vial will be broken. The cyanide will be released. And that is going to kill the cat. And the cat will die. And if it doesn't emit the particle, the poison is not released and the cat is alive. Now suppose that after, say, an hour, there's a 50% probability that the Geiger counter will have detected something. Until we look inside, the possibility exists that the cat is either alive or dead. And if we believe quantum mechanics, then the cat at that point is in a state which is simultaneously dead and alive. Schrodinger's point was that it's absurd to think that the cat is somehow simultaneously dead and alive just because it's described by a superposition. And so similarly, we should reconsider how we think about electrons in superposition. One answer you could give is to refuse to answer the question. You could say, well, quantum theory is just a set of rules for making calculations to tell you where you're going to detect uh, uh, light, and that's all. Uh, this is a so-called shut up and calculate uh, school. All these different sorts of answers have been given by different physicists. There's no general agreement, and uh, it'll probably be a long time before there, there is. <laughs> now, while physicists can disagree about whether to take this idea of the cat being simultaneously alive and dead seriously, the important point is that superposition cannot be explained away in terms of familiar classical concepts. And this is exactly what makes quantum mechanics so intriguing. <laughs>